Borida, good morning. A croeso cynnes, un wasanaeth heddiw, o dan ofal, eglwys y sand trillo, llandrillo. Mae ein gwasanaeth yn ddwy eithog. Good morning. A warm welcome to our service today in the care of St. Trillo Church in Llandrillo. Our service is bilingual and all that is in the Welsh language has English language subtitles so that everyone can join in. And we're going to begin our service this morning with a hymn. The hymn is All Praise Be to Thee, My Saviour and King. Gogoniantir tad ac i'r mab ac i'r ysbryd glan, fel yr oedd yn y dechrau, y mae yn awr ac y bydd yn wastad, yn oes oesoedd. Amen. Eternal God, we praise and thank you for the day which you created light and saw that it was good, the day on which the disciples discovered the empty tomb and met the risen Lord. This is the day that you have made. We rejoice and are glad in it. Blessed be God forever. Early in the morning, my prayer comes before you. Lord, have mercy. Oruit an llevari an vanhalon, ac yn dweud ceisia de fynwineb. Am hynny ceisiaf dy wyneb o arglwydd. Crist, trigar ha. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Lord, have mercy. Psalm 138 I give you thanks, O Lord, with all my heart. Before the gods I sing your praise. I bow down toward your holy temple and give thanks to your name. For your steadfast love and your faithfulness. For you have exalted your name and your word above everything. On the day I called you, you answered me. You increased my strength of soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Lord, for they have heard the words of your mouth. 
they shall sing of the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. For though the Lord is high, he regards the lowly, but the haughty he perceives from far away. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve me against the wrath of my enemies. You stretch out your hand, and your right hand delivers me. The Lord will fulfil his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, Lord, endures for ever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Cantigal or Evangel, a Benedictus. Bendigedig vedo arglwy ddiw Israel, am iddo am weld a'i bobl a'i prynu i ryddid. Cododd waredigaeth gadair ni ni, yn hy Dafydd ei was. Fel y llyfarodd trwy enau ei brofwydi sanctaidd yn yr oesoedd a fi. Gwaredigaeth rhag ein gylynion, ac o afael pawb sydd yn ein cysau. Fel hyn y cymerodd drigareth ar ein hynafiaid, a chofio ei gyfamod sanctaidd. Y llw a dyngodd wrth Abraham ein tad. Y rhoddau i ni gael ein hachub o afael gylynion. A'i addoli yn ddiofn mewn sancteidrwydd a chyfiawnder, ger ei brionef holl dyddiau ein bywyd. A dithau fy mhlentyn, gelwyr di yn broffwyd y gorichaf. Oherwydd bydd un cerdded o flaen yr arglwydd i baratoi ei lwybrau. I roi i'w bobl wybodaeth am waredigaeth, trwy fath ei hanty pechodau. Hyn yw trigarydd calon ein diw, Fe ddaw ar wawr ddydd o ddichod i'n plith, i lewyrchu ar y rhai sydd yn eistedd yn hywyllwch cysgod angau, a chyfeirio ein traed i ffordd tangnefedd. Gogoniant i'r tad ac i'r mab ac i'r ysbryd glân, fel y roedd yn y dechrau y mae yn awr ac y bydd yn wastad yn oes o'i soedd. Amen. Mae ffesu i barthau cysyr i afraid y pi a holodd i ddisgobion. Pwy mae'r pobl yn dweud i'w mab y dyn? Dwi'n darllen rhwythau, mae'n rhai yn dweud i ond y dyddiwr, y cerall y leas, y cerall trachefn, Jeremia, neu un o'r profwydi. A chwythau, mae'n meddai wrthynt, pwy mae'n eich chi y dwi fi. A tebol saen o'n cedr, ti yw'r mesea y mab y dyw byw. Dywedodd Iesu wrtho, gwynt o fyd Simon Fab Jona, oherwydd nid cig a gwaed yr atgifio hyn i ti, ond fy'n ha sydd yn y nyfoedd. Ac rwy ddyn dweud wrthyt, mae ti yw pedr, ac ar y graig hon, yr adael adar yw eglwys, a ni chai ffordd o erau hades y trechaf arni. Rhoddaf i ti allweddau teyrnasoedd nyfoedd, a beth bynnag awa herri ar y ddeaf, awa herri yn y nyfoedd. A beth bynnag a gane tai ar y ddeaf, a gane tai yn y nyfoedd. Yna, gorthom yn oedd i wrth gysgobion, beidio dweud wrth neb, mae ef oedd y mesea. May the words of my mouth and the thoughts of all our hearts be acceptable to God through our Lord Jesus Christ. In the Gospels, Jesus is always on a journey. It's the journey to Jerusalem and all that that means. Those who accompany him often do not understand where he's going. Even those who follow him closely cannot see the whole picture. Yet they are drawn to keep going, to join their life to his, 
and to share the journey. What we see in today's Gospel is the journey in full flow and people all around are questioning who is Jesus? He asks his disciples about what people are saying. Could he be John the Baptist? Even though King Herod had beheaded him? Could he be Elijah? whom Jewish people believed would come again, or one of the other prophets, Jeremiah perhaps. Then we hear Jesus say, never mind what other people say, what about you? Who do you say that I am? Of course, they've seen an awful lot. They have been with Jesus when gathered crowds around him came to listen to his teaching. They have been with him when he touched lepers to make them well and watched as he cast demons out of those people whose lives were possessed by evil. They were in the crowd and with him when he fed 5,000 men together with women and children. They were with him when he raised Jairus' daughter from what was seen to be her death. And Jesus took her by the hand and she got up, alive and well. They had listened to parable after parable. They'd even seen him walk on water. So who is he, this Jesus, who has come into their lives and turned everything upside down for them. It's Peter who answers, and his statement is simple and clear. You are the Messiah, the son of the living God. We don't know if Peter had been thinking about this for a while, or if this is a moment of realization for him, but it's certainly a turning point a step of faith that opens up a new path. What Jesus says next points to future, when God's church will be built upon that rock of faith, that Peter, for all his weakness, he has become a rock of faith. There are moments in all our lives when we are called to make a choice. It may be about a relationship, some medical treatment, a job or a place to live. They are moments of decision when we choose one path and not another. It may be the difference between talking about belief in God and actually believing. Peter couldn't know the impact of his own statement of faith. Perhaps he didn't even know what he was saying until he said it. As time went by, he would falter, he'd get things wrong, but we know that he lived out the faith he declared on that day. And we know that Jesus had faith in Peter because Jesus could see to the heart of all his faltering and he knew that he would never waver in his discipleship. We also need to decide what we believe about Jesus and whether we have the faith to trust our life to him who do you say that Jesus is? Could today be a time for you to answer that question for yourself? But know that the answer may have to be a step of faith, just like Peter's. So now to God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit, we give what is most justly due, all honour and glory, power and might, 
now and forevermore. Amen. Gadewch i ni wedio dros yr eglwys, rhodd e'n hartlwy, i ni gael byw yn y gobaith y mae ef yn cynnig i ni. Let us pray for our Father's gift, the Church, that we may live in the hope that he offers us. Yn y cyfnod hwn o ansicrwydd, gwylia dros y eglwys arglwydd. A wnaeth â ni i barhau i gario'r tu clerwyd yn trigo. Gyfynnwn am dyfendith ar ein holl esgobion o ffeiriaid a ddiakoniaid yn neu gael wedi geithau. Ac yn enwedig ar ein clerigion a'n gweinidog llaig. Fy cer Sandra, ar wyn i ddyn ardal genhadaeth cas. Avinai. Arglwydd yn dydrygaredd, grando e'n gweddi. We pray for the peace that this world so needs. Engender a spirit of generosity in richer nations towards all nations suffering from wars, natural disasters and acts of fatal negligence and especially towards the people of the Lebanon in the aftermath of the explosion in Beirut. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Uthini godi cyfyngiadau COVID-19, rydym yn gofyn na chaif yr abeirth a wneud yn ystod y cyfnod cloi i wastraffu drwy the ystyrwyr mesurau iechyd a ystyrwyr ei bod yn anghenrheidiol o hyd. Rydw i'n parhau i weddio i ti dros y rhai sy'n chwilio am frechlin effeithiol. Gwylia dros ein gymuned, wyth yn ei helpu i greu sawe ymwelwyr, sydd wedi bod yn dyhau am fisoedd i ddod i'w glad bendigedig a rydw i'n wedi ein beddithio â hi. Arglwydd yn dydrygaredd, grando ein gweddi. We give thanks, Lord, for the assurances that you will preserve us. We remember those who are lonely, who feel rejected, or face unemployment. And we name in our hearts all those known to us who are sick. We pray for our young people who have had their A-level, GCSE, 
and BTEC results. May they be supported at this time and given helpful advice by their teachers and parents. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray that you will fulfil your purpose for those who have died in faith, faithful to you and faithful to your church, built on the rock, Peter. Lord Jesus, keep us in that same faith until you come again in your Father's glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Kavlunun en hinain a fauba gwedhiun drostint i drigareb a nothed diw. Amen. We draw our prayers together as we join to pray the Lord's Prayer each in our own language. Ein tad er hunwit an anevoid, sanctelia de enu, deled de derinas, gunele de rewillis, megis an aner vesli ar adeyar hevid. De roini hedhiu ein bara binudio, a mada i ni ein deledion, Fel am y ddeu ni nai i'n daledwyr. Ac nac ar y ni i frobedigaeth, eith i'r gwariad ni chraf drwg, can i seid ot y tŷ o'r deunas ar y gallu a'r gwybonyant, yn oes oes oedd. Amen. The Collect for the Eleventh Sunday after Trinity O God, you declare your almighty power most chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Mercifully grant to us such a measure of your grace that we, running the way of your commandments, may receive your grace and your promises and be made partakers of your heavenly treasure. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Collect for Peace, the Collect and Dangnevet. O thou, our dear Tangnevet, the Harur Katindeb, and my dad Nabodi and Vowid drag with all, as was an athe and Ruthid per faith. Am the finny rag horse and a sodiatai in Galanion, where Lanina Sluer and Thiriad and the Nothed, Nad of Nun Ashley Neb on Guswinebwir, Triesi Driestain Hartloy. Amen. The third collect for Grace. The Chuddith collect Amras. Drag with all thou, a thad, a cray with me, troy de afli, and prune troy de gariad. Tawis a nerthani ath a spirit, vel a gathlun ein hroi ein hinain i ti troy gari agwas an eith ein gilydd, an yes i gris dein hartloeth. Amen. A minun an geiriad gras, we join to say the grace. Grass ein hartlwyd yes i gris da chariad diw, ach ymdeithas yr ysbyr glân fyddo gyda ni oll bydd bythoedd. Amen. Diolch am addoli gyda ni heddiw. Edrych yn ymlaen at groesawu chi dydd sîl nesaf. Thank you for joining us in worship today. We look forward to seeing you and welcoming you next Sunday. But before you go, we're going to sing a final hymn. To God be the glory.
great things he has done.